Shalom, this is GMS Hanlet Sit Downs coming back with a lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Kakadash, the honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that are spreading this word of sincerity and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone, man. This is going to be a video concerning these, uh, these females that uh, want to call themselves Aquat. Okay, which means sister in the Hebrew. They want to uh, call themselves sisters in the faith. Okay, to the brothers that be actually doing this work in sincerity and in truth all over the four corners of the earth. They want to call themselves, uh, you know, prophetesses and all that type of shit. But really, man, what it all boils down to is being a fucking order, man. Okay, now I had some, I had some inside information. You know, and I, be, I know that this has been going on, okay? You see that the spirit already jumped on the apostles like, hey, this, this shit has to stop, man. You want to listen to GMS? You want to follow the teachings of GMS? Stay in fucking order, man. Just learn in silence. That's what you're supposed to do, okay? Now, I ain't going to make this no fucking rant. I was just meditating upon it, but you see, it is a very vexing thing to even have to go into this, man. It's very vexing, but guess what? It has to be addressed, man. Okay? It has to be addressed. Now, like I said, I had some inside information about, you know, uh, uh, Aquat's uh, sisters, a uh, 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 teaching group and stuff like that. Uh, like they, they have groups wherein they study and stuff like that. Well, very good. Very good. But keep your, sh keep your shit in check, man. Keep your shit in check. Don't think that just because you have a study class with, with a bunch of females together that now... Your pride can go through the roof. That now you can approach men of the Lord. You know, men that have been teaching this, this truth for, for multiple years. And, you know, <laughs> I'm, I, I, I wanted to refer to men that have been teaching this truth for multiple years. Being 7, 8 to 10 years. But these females have the fucking audacity. Okay. To approach men 30 plus years in this truth, man. They have the audacity to approach men 30 plus years in this truth and tell them what to do or tell them what to say, or what to teach. Here it is. You have elders out there breaking things down. No, it is not like that. Hey, man, y'all need to be put in place. And the thing is, you know what the thing is? If you don't want to be corrected by these men, okay? The Heavenly Father will put you in your place. If not now, then in the in the times to come, man. If not now, then in the times to come. Because the thing that you females don't realize is that off offenses come through you, man. Offenses come through you. Yeah? And it is prophesied that offenses must come. But woe to him by whom it cometh. Let me grab that real quick. We have so many examples in the scriptures. People fucked up, man. Now you're going to receive according to your works. Okay? This is the Lord Jehovah Shai speaking. Luke 17 and 1. Then said he unto, his, unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. And that is, that is either him or her, man. Okay? Woe unto him, meaning destruction unto this person by whom the offenses will come. It's, this ain't no light thing, man. Okay? Now, the whole spirit behind it, and I know it, is this. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1. Now, as touching things offered to, unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge puffed up, but charity edified it. Edify it. And if any man think that he knoweth anything... He knoweth nothing yet as he, as he ought to know. So, this and this is being spoken out towards men, men of the Lord, okay? Meaning, yeah, you are growing in this truth. You are growing in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But you got to keep yourself in check. Know who your, elder, who your elders are. Know who, who taught you this truth, okay? Keep the respect. Keep the humility. Keep that meekness that you had. When you, when you was a babe coming into this truth, you wanted to learn, learn, learn. Every information that you received from these elders was beautiful. 
But now you know something of yourself and now all of a sudden you want to change on them. Now you want to teach them. What the hell do you think? What the hell do you think this is, man? So you think the most I deals with these men, but then you receive this truth through those men, and then you, you receive more wisdom, knowledge, understanding than the ones you learn from? The fuck you think this is, man? Karate kid? The 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 the, the student uh, 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 beats his master? Nah, man. It ain't like that. So you you females gotta be in check, man. Do you want to learn under the, uh, the, 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 the men of GMS? You got to be in freaking order, man. Just shut up and listen. But this is the thing, right? This gossiping, this, this, um, this uh, gathering, this gathering together of these females, it, it, it is never good, man. Okay? Because they, they, they spread pride, they spread um, wickedness amongst each other. That's why the scriptures speak about don't let your wife be a gatherer abroad, man. Because why? What happens when females walk in groups? Okay? One woman, one female, she might be shy. Okay? She is a shy person. So she walking in the streets. She's single. She walking in the streets. She sees a guy that she likes. Okay? She would never open her mouth towards this man because she's shy. But here it is. She, she, she walking in the group with her girls. She eyeballing the nigga. Looking, going towards him. Ask for his number. Oh, where she got that confidence from all of a sudden? Because she is in the group. Okay? She is now in the group. Just like what is happening right now. Aquatium. You know, gathering together in a group. Studying together. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what, what happens to the confidence level? The confidence level skyrockets through the roof man now they they think that it's the time that that the females come together and teach the men what the fuck do you think this is man what the hell do you think that is going on okay are you females out there in the highways and byways for for, for 30 plus years man 30 plus years 10 plus years 20 plus years it doesn't matter man go and stand there in one go and stand one day in the winter time out there in streets man minus five minus ten here in holland we've been through minus ten man minus ten degrees celsius i'm talking about we've been out there in the highways and byways man think about freaking gms alaska man think about that you want to teach one day with them think about gms canada okay gms toronto think about that Go deal with, 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 the, with the temperatures out there, man. They have the brothers in L.A. Standing in the freaking sun in the summertime, man. Extreme heat, Florida, Texas. Brothers standing in the extreme uh, heat, man. Go and do that for one, from, for, for one Saturday. No, y'all don't, man. So y'all got to stay in fucking order, man. And shut your goddamn mouth before you get yourself hurt. Now that is the message, man. Knowledge buffered up. So you think just because you have some study classes and you you think you, you know some scriptures now that you can pull up to these men that have sincerely pushing the, that have been sincerely pushing this word out there for multiple years, man. Okay? What the fuck is wrong with you? Now yesterday I was reading a scripture. I think it was um in Timothy. Yeah, here it is, because I marked it. I was like, man, I got to mark this. Because you might read over it. Um, so, um, the Apostle Paul is addressing certain men, you know, certain events that happen. And then he addressed Alexander the coppersmith. So read this. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 14. Alexander the coppersmith did me much evil. Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, reward him according to his works. So, all that that clamorous behavior that you females be having on the common boards and 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 in whatever situation uh, towards your husband, okay? You might you might be dealing with with um, with the with the man of the Lord, but you're not together with him no more. You you have a child with him. You might be dealing with him, uh, uh, you know, uh, verbally still. 
and now you think you 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 on a level that you can teach him? Nah, man, it ain't like that. It ain't it ain't like that because all the evil that you be doing towards these men, you will be be held accountable for it, man. You will be held accountable for it. It is best to just shut up your mouth, shut 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 the hell up. Don't say anything. Just read your Bible. Read your Bible and stay quiet. Just like Abigail. What did Abigail do? Her man was evil. Her man was wicked. Okay? Her man was wicked and she still stayed in order. She still fought for his life. That the king will not, would not put him to death. At that time, uh, uh, being uh, uh, being King David, but he was not a king yet. But he was an up-and-coming king. And, and the world of Israel knew that. We had King Saul, but King Saul, you know, he was... He was losing it, man. His whole drive was to put King David to death because he saw that his throne was about to be stripped from him. Okay, but what did Abigail do? She stayed in check. She still fought for the life of her husband. And he was wicked. Now, we as man of the Lord out here teaching this truth, we, we, we are not your husbands, okay? We are not your husbands. We don't have no intimate uh, intimate relationship with y'all so that is even more reason to stay in check okay when you are in class when you go to school you you politely raise up your hand and ask the teacher if you can say something and if the uh, uh, teacher says no i'm busy with explaining this this topic then you just shut the hell up man okay now the scriptures go into let the woman learn in silence okay see the scriptures go into let the woman learn in silence first timothy 2 and 2 and 11 let the woman learn in silence with all subjection but a suffer not a woman to teach how come that y'all you, you females don't read this one okay here it is you have all these highlights these markers right what are you using are you using a black black highlight or something are you marking it let me see it's not even possible Black is not even possible, but it seems that you females be be marking this scripture with a with a waterproof black uh, black marker, man. You don't want to see this. You don't want to read this. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Okay. This this being out of order is being part of the image of the beast, man. You females opening your mouth to to men, men in general. But on top of that, man of the Lord that have been doing this work for, for multiple years, opening your mouth and being clamorous and disrespectful towards these men is being part of the image of the beast, man. Because guess what? The image of the beast is all about uplifting females. The image of the beast is all about giving a, 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 a woman power over the man. Now, if you are furthering that that. Uh, uh, that action or the, those ways you are part of the image of the beast man now guess what you know the outcome of he who is part of the image of the beast you will be put to death man by the heavenly father you ain't, you ain't gonna live you ain't gonna live man revelation like revelation chapter 14 let me see Revelation chapter 14 verse 9 and the third angel uh, followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast and his image and Receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he shall be tormented with fire and with brimstone in the presence of the holy angels so this will be in the presence of the holy angels so you ain't gonna gonna have it uh, 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 an easy death man you ain't gonna have no easy death oh the fire hits me i'm dead no 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 this will be in the presence of the heavenly father the scripture says the most high is in the midst of the fire you want to play games man you want to open your mouth against these men apostle tahar already brought out the order shut the hell up now, if you if if you can't handle that, then just uh, go kick some rocks, man. Okay. What what was being said uh, towards the apostle Paul when he was persecuting the church? You are kicking against the bricks. 
Now I'm gonna go into that. Hold on for a moment, cause I see already spirit spirit is, is hitting me, man. Okay? You are in in, 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 in in danger of hellfire, man, which is the nuclear destruction. Okay? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you females that are in this truth, that are following the teachings, you just got to stay in order, man. Is that such a, such a difficult task? The scriptures explain you. Suffer not the woman to teach. Let the woman learn in silence. If she, if she want, any, uh, want to learn anything, let her ask her husband at home. Let him check out the teachings. If he's not in this truth, humbly ask for questions. Humbly ask for, for uh, 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 certain explanations. And we, we, we will give you the answers, man. But if you come all bold and like, no, there's more females in this thing. We aquatium stand together. Oh, you you wanna you wanna raise up yourself against the men? You're gonna get yourself hurt. You will get yourself hurt, man. Adam was first for, first form, and then Eve. Who you think the Most High is dealing with? Who do you think Yahweh Shemayah is dealing with? For real. Okay, you thinking that you females thinking that you can form an alliance or a group and 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 uh, uh, set yourself against the men of the lord okay makes you part of the image of the beast man that is not being in the truth that's being the opposite of the truth now what does the word satan uh, uh, mean what does the word satan mean let me just grab this scripture real quick because the word satan is in it or the name of satan okay let me see Satan, which in the Latin is a Satanas or the Greek Satanas, which uh, it says adversary, one who opposes another in purpose or act. So if you are opposing, opposing meaning being on the opposite party of the uh, the, the elders, the apostles, the men that been teaching this truth. If you want to oppose yourself against those men, really you are on the side of Satan, man. Now who's on the side of Satan? The ones that are setting up this image of the beast, which is this new Roman system. Okay, revived Roman system that we are under, man. This up and coming new world order. That is what you what you what you belong to then. Okay, you you are under Satan. The name given to the prince of evil spirit. The, uh, okay, you see? The uh, the adversary. That's my point. The one who opposes. Yeah, but I know the scriptures. I know the scriptures. Oh, you know the scriptures? You think Satan doesn't know the scriptures? You you think these demons don't know the scriptures? <laughs> Look at this. This is uh, Matthew chapter 4. Let me see. Let me just start at uh, let me just start at one and go over it real quick. Matthew chapter four verse one. Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil, Satan. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he afterward was in hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the son of the most high, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of of the most high so guess what we fight satan with scriptures man we fight satan with scriptures we apply these scriptures okay we walk in wisdom knowledge and understanding you can know all the scriptures from the top of the dome but if you don't apply them satan is having an advantage over you now this goes for for, for you females man in this case i'm gonna address this towards your females man if you don't apply the scriptures if you don't apply what is written for you let the woman learn in silence. Let Just keep your peace. If you don't apply those scriptures, guess what? Satan has an advantage over you because you know scriptures, but you're not applying them. Then the word of the Most High is not working in you. <clears throat> but if, if you show humbleness and humility as a woman, as a woman, the reason I'm using the word woman right now is because the word woman means female servant. 
But if you if you are being called out as a female, you ain't that. You ain't that, man. Learn to know your place. That is the the, the main task of a woman, man. Because what do you um, what do the females of this world claim? Yeah, the woman is equal to a man. As long as you think that in your in your in your brains, in your mind, as long as you have that idea of the the rank and order that the heavenly Father has purposed for this earth, as long as you think that, you ain't in the truth, man. You are not in the truth. Okay, you are not a so-called a uh, 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 fe uh, woman of the Lord, woman in the truth. You're not. Okay, as long as you don't know your place in this truth in this world. Actually, you're not in this truth. So guess what? In the kingdom, you will be right. But for now, nah, man. That's why for now, man, I'm going to just keep it, you know, on, on the word females, man. You might be offended, but guess what? I don't give a hoot nanny. I don't give a hoot nanny if you're offended. Because what we have been doing is just teaching this truth, man. We have been giving you this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. We, we, we spending hours on the live stream. You know, edifying the people, breaking down things, bringing back breakdowns from the past, man. When 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 people was not even in the truth yet. When people was still smoking weed, committing adultery and doing all kinds of shit. Hours to bring, bring back those uh, breakdowns, man. But still, people have the audacity to disrespect the man of the Lord. Okay? It's just crazy, man. Okay, now if we if we say, hey, you, you females be on the side of Satan. No, but I know the scriptures. I'm in the truth. I know the name of the Most High. Also what? Do you think that the, the demons that Satan doesn't know? Satan knows too. Guess what? The scriptures even said he was transformed in an angel of light. Claiming to be good, but he's not. Okay, so how should I pull the scripture on him? Then the devil take him up into a holy city and set it him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him if thou be the son of the most high cast thyself down for it is written he shall give his angels charge concerning thee now that is written that is written so guess what satan knows the scriptures satan knows the 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 text the prophecies does that make him good is that does that mean that he is on the side of the most high too? He he obeys the, the orders of the most high, but his job is to oppose righteousness. You see? Oppose this truth. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. So, uh, what does Yahweh Shai do? He quenches that, he quenches that, uh, that evil spirit that he comes in by using scriptures. Now, that's the same thing we do. We are not, we are not just screaming at you uh, 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 and getting angry at you for, for this behavior. We're showing you once again with the scriptures that you've got to know your place, man. Don't think because you have study sessions with your sisters that you are now in a position that you can uh, be like, yeah, I'm going to approach the uh, uh, the elder and ask him on the comment board what this is all about. No, 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 no. <laughs> if I were you, I would not do that. So you are in a group, right? You are in a group full of sisters, so-called sisters, because you know what it, what it is when, when females are friends, right? They always, they always uh, start to demonize each other at a certain point. They break up and they can, uh, they can never stay friends. But, but the thing is, if you go into the word friend, it really says brother, brothers. You see, that's why a man can never be a friend with a female, never. Because his intentions is always to take her down at a certain point, okay? She is the opposite sex. What else does, is he supposed to do? Okay, men have friends, men friends, okay, brothers, that is that, uh, that agape love, love, brotherly love, man, okay, not intimate, brotherly love, now that, that intimate love is what, what will be created towards a man and a woman, 
you know, uh, between a man and a woman, I mean. Okay? Anyway, this, this scripture was to point out that Satan knows the scriptures too. Satan knows the word of the Most High. So that doesn't mean that you ain't no demon because you know the scriptures. You are still a demon because you are opposing the man of the Lord. The, the man that the Heavenly Father has set up, man. Okay? Now, if you do that, you're touching the, hand, uh, the apple of the Most High's eye because the Most High has given the Lord Jehovah Shai these servants. Okay? Let me see. Um, John chapter 17. You can go there. John chapter 17. And, and the Lord Jehovah Shai has extreme love towards these men. Okay? Extreme love towards these men. Father, I will that they also... John 17 and 24 Father I will that they also whom thou hast given me Be with me where I am That they may behold my glory Which thou hast given me For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world So the Lord Jehovah Shai is, is asking the Father to, to raise up his kingdom So that the, the elect men may be there with him He's, he's asking the Heavenly Father Can please this kingdom be set up so that you know, we are together. The brothers are amongst each other again. The elect men are amongst each other again. Now, don't get me wrong. He is also referring to the people that will believe through their word. Okay? Let me see. It's in the same chapter. Um... I can't, I can't find it right now. I'm also, uh, I'm also on the road. So let me just. But he he referred to the people that will believe in him through their word, through their teachings. Okay. The most I also also uh, uh, you know shows love towards them. Yahweh Bashem Yashai shows love love towards them also. But the first fruits, the elect, the men that are raised up to do this work, are precious in his sight, man. Are precious in his sight. We are raised up lively stones, man. Okay. We are raised up lively, uh, lively stones. Let me see. Hey, this was not even my intention, but here, here it is, man. I accidentally, you know, clicked on First Peter chapter three, verse one. Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your husbands, that if ye obey not the word. They also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives. You see? While they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. So to to deal with these men is to fear the, the most high, man. You know? To fear these men is to is to, to be in subjection, man. And to fear the most high. The most high has raised up these men. What does um, Ezekiel, what is it, Ezekiel 32? Or Ezekiel 32, I think 32. Or 31. Ezekiel, uh, oh yeah, Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your power, said the Lord, Yahweh. Okay? Is this difficult to understand? That the Heavenly Father deals, the Heavenly Father deals with His Son, Yahweh Shai, and His, his Son, Yahweh Shai, deals with His men, the men that the Lord, Yahweh, has given Him to be His elect men, which He preordained before the world even, even was created. Is it difficult to understand that that's the order? Doesn't the scriptures explain you this? So why don't y'all follow this order? Why do you think that you are just able to, to oppose yourself against these men? What gives you what gives you the reason that you think this is okay? The scriptures plainly explain you what the order is. Now what, what it is, we know what it is. It's pride. It's pride. You don't feel like you are under under the men. 
you feel that you are equal, you feel that the Most High doesn't only deal with men, but also with, with, uh, with women, yeah, if they, if they are in order. If they are in order, the Most High can give them dreams, okay? But who are you supposed to tell your dream to? Who is your husband? There have been multiple brothers making videos on the dream of that their wife had. Very spiritual dreams, okay? So your dream will be brought out there. But guess what? You will not be acknowledged that, oh, look, here's a picture of my wife. This is her. And she had the dream. No, 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 no. You will not be out there. Okay? You will stay in subjection. And you will stay in all humility because the men are out there. The men of the Lord are out there showing their faces. Okay? That's why the, the scripture says... Okay, Isaiah 30 and 20 And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity And the water of affliction Ye shall not Ye shall not Yet shall not thy teachers be removed Into a corner anymore But then I shall see thy teachers Okay Then I shall see thy teachers So the men are out there man But hey If your females are not being placed on the forefront That is for a reason Okay Stay, stay in all subjection and humility and the, and the Most High is going to reward you openly Like the scripture says The Most High is going to reward you openly If you stay in all humility And, and, and humble and meekness man. But in all things Y'all want to be recognized You want to now Because you know some scriptures teach Teach a man That's a great disrespect man that's a great disrespect, especially when this man has been doing the work for so many years. Okay? So that just has to stop. Now, I was going to explain also kicking against the bricks. In the book of Acts. Okay? Acts chapter 9, verse 5. And he said... Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Yahushai, whom thou persecutest. Now, was he persecuting Yahushai physically? No. He was persecuting the Lord Yahushai because he was touching his men. He was persecuting his men. That's why Yahushai said, Whatsoever you have done unto him, unto these brothers, you have done unto me. Whether they be good or bad things. So if you're doing bad things against the men of the Lord, if you are speaking evil of them or causing evil upon them really you're doing it towards the heavenly father and son man really you fighting against the lord jehovah shai okay so here apostle paul who was then called saul he was going off persecuting the church so it says i am jehovah shai whom thou persecutest it is hard for thee to kick against the bricks now what what is um what does that represent when a cow when a cow uh, is uh, working the field or an ox is working the field he has a certain um, certain system around his neck around his waist that keeps him in line but it has point pointy objects uh, in it which if he if he kicks it it's going to hurt him it's really going to do damage to him. So the ox knows that, hey, I just got to stay in line. Otherwise, I'm going to get myself hurt. So the Apostle Paul was doing certain things which he was going to get himself hurt in. Now, that's the same thing you females be doing, man. You will get yourself hurt if you continue this, this type of behavior, man. It is not of the truth. Okay, but it is of Satan. Like I said, man, you, you are unknown unknowingly doing the work of satan you think you're doing good yeah we have study sessions together okay like i said satan knows the scriptures too demons know scriptures too okay and if you are if you are a vessel that is set up if you are a vessel that is set up to um to hurt the man of the lord hey man better pray you better pray for repentance man and pray that your lot may be changed because if you have the feeling 
uh, which y'all won't have that feeling like um, to be honest man to to look spiritual towards situations that that's not really imprinted in you man that's why the scripture says uh, he has not imparted in her understanding okay in the book of Job the most that has not given her that understanding because clearly, if she would have give, uh, been given this understanding, you know, deep understanding and breakdowns and all those type of things, if she would have it, she would uh, oppose herself against the men. Okay? That's why the Most High also woke up Judah first, so that Ephraim would not exalt himself towards uh, Judah, man. Magnify himself towards Judah. Magnify. Let me pull that real quick. Uh, I will raise up the tents of Judah first because the most I wanted this the southern kingdom which was the last ones to be kicked out of uh, out of the land to wake up first because the ruling governor governing body is gonna come from the southern tribes man from the southern tribes first being the Lord Jehovah Shai okay let me see I think it's Zechariah yeah Zechariah this is Zechariah chapter 12 verse 7. The Lord also shall save the tents of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah. You see that? That's why Judah woke up first in America. Then later on, you know, the, nor the northern tribes woke up being the Latinos and Native Americans. And still they magnify themselves towards Judah, man. Saying all tribes are Latinos. That's a doctrine right now, man. Believe it or not. All tribes are, are, are Latinos. Huh? The fuck you saying, man? Okay? Still they oppose themselves against the uh, against the Judah. Now these these northern tribes, they have their reward too. Okay? But you have beautiful camps, man. Uh, 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 with with Latinos, Native Americans, and 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 uh, so-called Negroes together, man. Okay, they might split up to teach in uh, in Spanish or, or or Portuguese or or French or whatever, man. They might split up, and and if you if you if you meditate upon the great works that the Most High is doing with these men, I don't understand where where you females got the guts from. To actually do the things that you do, man, and say the things that you say. It's really um it's really madness if you ask me. Okay. Now back to the point, you know, that I started off with. Knowledge buff it up. You females better check yourself before you wreck yourself. If you offend one of these little ones, being the man of the Lord, you are gonna have great pain, man. The most high is gonna check you then. You know, in a physical form. If not now, then uh, then in the end, man. Because why? Last scripture. Job chapter 21 and 30. Job chapter 21 and 30. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth in the day of wrath. So, if not now, man. If your, if your correction doesn't come now, then it will come in the end, man. It will come in the end. Okay, by judgment, sword judgment. Okay, destruction, famine, death. The Most High is gonna have a special destruction for you, man, for being a rebellious piece of shit. Okay, the Most High doesn't like that. The Most High doesn't like a man of war that is not set by. So what what uh, Esau does is that um, he sends out men to war, and then when they are basically veterans they are not being taken care of okay the most i hates that when that happens now the most i all uh, you know you can compare that with with this truth man okay there are men in this truth that are veterans man men in this truth that have been doing this work for years and years and years and still going strong man being 50 plus years old still going strong but you wanna you wanna you know disrespect these men you you are, are not setting them by not even in in honor and respect not even speaking about tithes man these men deserve tithes a tenth of your possession okay now we are not living you know in those times anymore that you you just send 10 percent of your salary 
to, to the apostles, but really that is the law, man. Okay? They are the priests of the Most High. But you want to open your mouth? Not even giving tithes to the apostles. Okay? Not even giving tithes to these men. You females should know your place and try to meditate upon um, physically helping out the man of the Lord, man. Physically supporting them. Make garments. You know, help them out. Ask if they can, can do something for you. Uh, if you can do something for them, you know, to help uh, the ministry, man. If there is nothing, why don't you send tithes to the apostles too? Seeing you such a such a believer, <clears throat> okay, that is laying up treasure in heaven, man. That is laying up treasure in heaven for yourself, okay. So yeah, man. Hey, with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Kadash, Shalom to the elect.